If you are a watcher of the television, listener of the daily news, then I'm sure that you will agree with me that the voices of dissatisfaction are echoing down the carols of time like the music of a thousand chords, visible and invisible in one grand heaven. I'm sure that you can agree with me, come on up Dr. Baker, that these voices are everywhere. People are just not satisfied with having a little. It seems that nobody wants a little bit. Everybody wants a whole lot. But I come to tell you tonight, you can make it with a little bit. If you use it right. May not be much, but it can be enough to get started. Now, I'm not saying that it's wrong for a person to have anything. I'm not saying that it's wrong for you if you want to buy a new car. I'm not saying it's wrong to sell your old house to buy a new split level home. Yeah. All right. For I think it's a poor man when he doesn't try to better himself. But I am saying that sometimes people just want too much. Yeah. All right. All right. And we can hurt ourselves trying to get so much. You can make it with a little bit if you use it right. I've seen people work three and four jobs. And every time you see them, they broke. And then I've seen some folks on the welfare. Well, yes, sir. Let's talk about it. Have everything that you have. Yeah. You got it now, Sometimes it's not what you have, but how you use it. What you have. May not be much. But if you use it right. It can be enough be to enough. get started. Yes. Oh, yeah. I do think that sometimes we have an overdose of Mr. Appetite. Yeah. All right. And every now and then we need to make an appointment with Dr. Dyer. Yeah. And see if he can help us to lose some of our wounds. The worst thing in the world is to see folks got and heal money trying to build a cathedral. All right. It is best to take what little you have and use it right. I don't know whether you know it or not, but I have seen the times coming up in a family of eight when mama didn't have a whole lot of groceries. But she knew how to take a little bit. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Pull from different shelves, and when she got to making it up, it was enough. May not be much, but it can be enough. Oh, I'm sure that some of you older folks here know what I'm talking about. You remember the time when you didn't have what you have now? Yeah, come on. 
But what you had was enough. Yeah. All right. And you're doing all right. Yeah. You remember the time when you didn't have no inside plumbing. All right. All, right. all of the restroom was outside. Yeah. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Y'all need to look at me like you was all born in Atlanta. I know somebody that's been born in Atlanta. You remember the time when you didn't have no wall of all coffee? All right. You had the naked floor and you used to get splendor in your feet. Wasn't much, but it was enough. You remember the time when you didn't have no beauty rest matches? You had straws and chuck matches. But at least you could sleep at night. Folks buying all these beauty rest matches and soft pillows and still can't sleep at night. Trying to take some summer nets. Never seen my mother had to take nothing to sleep at night. Wasn't much, but it was enough. We didn't have no wall to wall carpet, but we had wall to wall peace. And I see these folks got wall to wall carpet and wall to wall hell. Walk in one room is hell in, walk in the other room. So many folk have houses, but they don't have any home. May not be much, but it was enough. Then I'll tell you something else. We ain't just got in air conditioning. Some of us was born when they had air pockets on every side. Yeah, I came in one crack and went out the other crack. Lay down and look at the moon and wake up and look at the sun. Talk about fresh air. You know somebody was talking the other day about a shortage. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was telling some folks the other day, we was born in a show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Black folk ain't never just got in a shortage. Yeah. They talking about energy shortage. <laughs> we remember when there was a shortage on everything. Shortage on food. Yeah. Shortage on clothes. Yeah. Shortage on shoes. But it wasn't much. But it was enough. Preach. Carver didn't have much. No. No. George Washington Carver, all he had was a peanut. That's right. yeah. Yeah, so. But that was enough. Yeah. Yeah. Enough to run it through one test and get some oil. Yeah. Right. Run it through another test and get some dye. Run it through another test and got all of these different things. We have over a hundred different products. Yeah. 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 Preach. Preach. From just a little peanut. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't much, yeah. but it was enough. Yeah. Yeah. Mary McLeod Mathune didn't have much. Yeah. All she had was a few students. Yeah. Yeah. But that was enough. They have one of the greatest colleges in Florida today. Yeah. Wasn't much. Preach, preach. Hank Aaron didn't have much. Yeah. All he had was a bat. Yeah. But it was enough to knock over 733 home uh, runs. Yeah. And carry his name all through history. Yeah. Preach. Moses didn't have much. Yeah. When he got out there to the Red Sea, he didn't have time to build no bridge. And he didn't have time to ask God to give him no wings to fly. And there wasn't no such thing as an airplane. 
and they didn't have time to borrow no boats or ship. But all he had was a rod. God told him to stretch it out and he stretched it out and the waters got happy and skipped back out of the way of God's word. God let the wind blow until the seabeds got dry. Right. Yeah. God made an expressway through the Red Sea. Yeah. Go ahead. Wasn't much, yeah. Go ahead. but it was enough. Yeah. Get them cross on the other side. Yeah. Oh, David, when he went out to fight the giant Goliath, didn't have much. Yeah. All he had was a little old rock, yeah. but that was enough. Yeah. And when he threw it, he threw it in the name of God, Jehovah. God sent angels from heaven and caught that rock in the middle of the air. One angel caught the rock and dipped it in the word of God. And passed it to another angel and he wrapped Holy Ghost power behind it. And when it got to the giant, it wasn't a rock, but it was one of heaven's knockouts. Well, much, but it wasn't enough. Ezekiel out there in the valley of dry bones. He didn't have no choir to sing amazing grace. He didn't have no deacons in the amen corner to say amen. And he didn't have no usher to hold the bones when they got to shout. But all he had was a sermon. Oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. That was enough to make bones have a conviction. Bone running all across other bones. What I like about it, they didn't even get mixed up. Somebody else's bone didn't get confused with another person's bone. But bone went to his bone. Because the sermon was enough. Jesus out there in the desert didn't have much. All he had was a small lunch. Yeah. Two minnows and five biscuits. Yeah. That's what I call it. Yeah. Small fish ain't nothing but a minnow. Yeah. Barley loaves wasn't nothing but biscuits. Yeah. But that was enough. Uh -huh. He took a meat and bread sandwich in a desert cafeteria. Yeah. Took two small fish and made a fish market. Yeah. Five barley loaves and made a bakery shop. Yeah. And fed everybody. Yeah. That wasn't much. Yeah. But it was enough. Yeah. So it was with this woman of our text tonight. Go ahead, preach it, preach. What she touched wasn't much, but it was enough. Let me, let me just tell you something about the story. Jesus was on his way to perform a miracle to heal a young girl 12 years old. And on his way to heal this young girl, this woman was mixed and mangled in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of folk following Jesus that day. Some of them was going just to see what he was going to do. Yeah. Some yeah. was going to see if he had power to raise the young girl. Yeah. Yeah. And some were just there for information. Yeah. But this woman was there not to see something, but she was there to experience something. Yeah. And that is to touch him by the hymn of his God. Yes. All right. Now you notice the Bible says, and a certain woman preach, preach. had an issue of blood 12 years. Yes. And you know, there are a lot of people been trying to discuss this woman and trying to give her a name. Yes. And I did a little research on this woman and she did have a name. Go ahead, preacher. Some scholars say that her name was Veronica. All right. And some folks say that her name was Martha. And some said that she came from the city of Philippi, right. wandered on down by the mountains of Campania, yes, until she struck the borderline of Galilee. Yes, she was going around trying to find doctors to heal of all of her disease. Yes, but uh, whatever name she might be given, one thing I like about it, they call her a certain woman. Yes, because you know it takes a certain woman to do anything unusual. Why, uh, it takes a certain woman to be a good wife. Amen. Everybody ain't gonna be a good wife. It takes a certain woman to get up and clean her house up. 
You see, a whole lot of folk marry looks, but looks don't clean up houses. Looks don't have your preference on the table on the morning. It takes the same woman to uh, fix herself up and have her eyes sparkling like diamonds. And have her tip lips uh, looking just like peaches. It takes the same woman to have her teeth shining like pearl. It takes the same woman to fix her hair up and have her skin looking like velvet. It takes the same woman to keep her body in shape and look like a cocoa box. Hey man, let you see, all women ain't gonna fix themselves up for their husband. Some of them gonna tie their head up in a head rag and sit around and watch the edge of night. And, and then when you get home, you in the edge of night. Hey man, yeah, it takes the same woman. Yeah, to get out and say, I'm gonna help you get work on a job and pay the bills. All women ain't gonna get out on no job. Some of them will tell you, I'm mad you to take care of me. Oh, isn't that right? Oh, Lord, I said it takes the same woman. Not only that, but it takes the same man, too. Yeah, man, it takes the same man to stay home and put up with this foolishness off some of you women. You better hear me now. These young Negroes nowadays, they don't got to wear now. They don't want no wife. They're going around getting these fabulous apartments. Yeah. Ain't no such thing as marrying now is my apartment. Yeah. Right. You get that apartment and mix some colored lights with some orange and red lights and yeah. get a little of that green leaves with them. <laughs> and the next thing you know, they get you in there and make you act like a fool. And yeah. These young men nowadays, they don't want no wife. And if you if you a young woman and you got a young husband and he coming home at night, you better love that man. Because you got a certain man. Oh, I know this heavy stuff. I ain't gonna get me the heavy man on that. So what I like about it is call a woman a certain woman. And it takes a certain woman to do anything unusual. Look what it said that she Heard? I said she heard. Faith coming by hearing. Oh, isn't that right? She had faith. And she believed that God will make a way. Somebody asked me the other day, what is faith? Well, I tell you what it's like. Faith is just like pot liquor juice and collard green. Now, if you didn't come up in a large family, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you was at home sometime and, and you stayed out and played too long, and when you got home, you got what you call the pot liquor juice. Well, now the pot liquor juice is the evidence why the green is the substance. I ain't had no green, but the juice tell me it's been some green somewhere. Now that was phase in life. Boy, isn't that right? She had faith and she believed that God will make a way for her. Somebody told this woman about Jesus. Somebody told her, you know, he unstopped the deaf ears and he brought sight to the blinded eye. Yes, sir. Preach. She wasn't greedy. She just wanted to hear. And I'll tell you today, some folk would do better today. If they learn how to accept the hymn. Now, you know, if some folks can't know everything about God, then they don't want no part of it. But I tell you, you can't get the whole God. But God has fixed it so you can get to Him. Mm -mm, His ways are not our ways. And I say His thoughts are not our thoughts. You can't expect to know everything about God. But I'm glad he allowed me to get a chance to get to the hymn. When I look at the Son, Jesus Christ, it tells me just the hymn of Jesus, God's God. Because Jesus was God writing his autobiography. Because the Word became flesh. And tabernacled among men. Yes, sir. 
so on. You ought to be satisfied with the hymn. I'm not so much concerned about how God can do things. I just love to know that God can do it. I don't want to ask God how did he put green in grass. I don't want to ask God how did he put hydrogen in air. I don't want to ask God how he put sodium chlorified in water. Yes, sir. But I'm just glad to know God can do it. Yes, sir. I'll never get a chance to get the whole God. Yes, but he allowed me to get a All hold right, to the hill. Yes, yes, and don't be greedy about getting the whole God. Yes, because the him may not be much. Yes, but if you touch him right, that is enough. When Jesus came to the city, uh, doubt and faith was in the woman's house. Doubt told her you ought to stay home. But faith said, go on anyhow. Doubt told the woman you ain't gonna get well. But faith said, you gonna get well. And she started to the door And doubt said let that door alone yeah. But faith said unlock the door yeah. and She started out the door And walked down the street And doubt told her Woman why don't you go back home yeah. uh, But faith said go on anyhow she got in the crowd and doubt told her, woman, the doctor told you to stay out of a crowd. Yeah, uh, but faith said, push your way through. Yes, sir. And she kept on until she pushed her way through the crowd. Yes, and when Jesus, when Jesus passed by, she reached down. And touch Jesus by the hem of his garment. And oh, the Lord. He said, Somebody, somebody, somebody touch me. I wonder why did Jesus ask that question? Because he's supposed to know all things. He didn't ask that question because he didn't know. He didn't ask that question because he was ignorant. But Jesus asked that question because he wanted to bring the woman out there. See, the woman wanted to touch Jesus and then run and hide. But Jesus wanted the woman to know there is no secret that God can do it. What he done for others? God will do for you. Somebody touch me. Oh, yeah. I tell you it wasn't much, but it was enough to heal the woman's body. She looked at her hand, and her head looked new. She looked at her feet, and they did too. Looked at her body. Enough. Just a little faith and a little more grace will help me run the race. Oh, it wasn't much, but it's enough to put joy in my heart. It was enough to put a new song in my heart. It was enough to put running in my feet. Bye.
I'm going to move a little higher. Oh, it wasn't much, but one Friday, it was enough for me to put my soul to running. I don't know when your day was. When did you touch the man? But when I call your day, I want to see you stand on your feet. The Bible says you are ashamed to honor him down here. God is ashamed to honor you in heaven. Yeah. Somebody say it was on a Monday. Can I get any witnesses here? Did you ever touch the man? Somebody say one Tuesday. Can I get any witnesses here? Didn't he do something for you one day? Somebody say it was on a Wednesday. Do I have any witnesses here? Ain't God all right? Somebody said it was on a Thursday. Did he put joy in your heart? Ain't God all right? My day. Oh. Oh. One Friday. Oh. One Friday. He saved my heart. Somebody said it was on a Saturday. Do I have any witnesses here? Sunday. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Sunday. Is it all right? Do you know it all right? Let me hear you say, yes. 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 enough for you. Oh, he's enough. I know he's enough. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Y'all have to excuse me now. I was a little tired when I got here, but I feel all right now. Mm. Do you ever feel the fire? The devil don't know what you're moaning about. But when God been good to you, and you know it was the Lord, you just find yourself moaning. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't you know God will bring you out? I know God had made a way for me. He may not come when you want him. Keep on moaning. Get to Judd River. Father, he'll be there, but he can't help me to call. Mother, she'll be there, but she can't help me to call. Sisters and brothers will be there, but they can't help me to call. But I'm so glad somebody will be there. It's all like ball of pop. It's eating like polished bread. But Jesus, go meet me at Judd River. He's going to help me cross. He's going to help me cross. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I'm going to let you go in a minute. I know it's late, y'all. I know it's late, y'all. But I tell you today, faith may not be much, but just a little faith.
again for a pleased morning. So in the morning, the door's open. I'm gonna lead up my door and get me a crown. What? 